So welcome to the tutorials on Google Classroom. The first thing we're going to do is log into our Google account. And if it's a brand new Google account, then you will need to accept the terms and conditions. And depending on how your administrator has set this up is whether you'll be asked to change your password as soon as you log in. If you're logging into your own laptop or your own computer at home, then you can link the data. This will save you logging onto Google every single time. It will also come up with a message and just turn on this message. Otherwise, if you're not, then just don't link it. So now we're actually logged into our Google account. And you can see that by clicking on this button here and it tells me that I'm actually logged into Google. If you don't see this, then you're not logged in to Google Chrome. So now click on the nine dots, which I call the Rubik's Cube. So click on that. If you don't see Google Classroom here, which it should be, all right, you can click on more and then scroll down and there's Google Classroom. But you should find that Google Classroom for your account will be in this window here. So I'm just gonna scroll down click on Google Classroom and that opens up Google Classroom into another tab. Now the first time you log into Google Classroom, it's gonna ask you this, so we're just gonna click on continue and then you need to specify whether you are a student or a teacher. Now for teachers, obviously, you click on teacher and for students, they will need to click on students. So that's very important because this tells the administration of Google what that person is. Now, if a student clicks on teacher, it doesn't matter, you just need to go to your administrator and ask them to change that. So let's click on teacher, and now we're in Google Classroom. This is your dashboard, and it will show all the classrooms that you've got access to. So the first thing we need to do is join a classroom. So what we need to do is press this plus button. Now, as a teacher, you will get two options here, to join or to create. But as a student, you will go straight to this screen here, asking you to put in the class code for the class you want them to join. So I'm just gonna join a class that I have. So I'm gonna click on this and join that class. And that will take me into the Google Classroom that I've joined. So that's how you will get your students to join a classroom. And if you wanted to create teacher classrooms, that's how you will get your teachers to join. There are other ways to get your children to join the classroom, but that is the easiest way. In another video, I will show you how you can actually invite students without them putting the class code in. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos. Until next time, goodbye.